<laughs> so tell me about your fitness thing. You've been like very particular with your diet and workout. I've been seeing pictures. Yeah, you know, this is something I never focused on growing up because growing up I was always skinny, mm-hmm. and then at a point for a few years I let loose, and I was never not skinny, but I was like gaining unhealthy weight, mm. you know, and it showed on my face, my skin, my body, and. Um, it was only after i you know really got motivated to work out and i saw the results is when i realized that this is like impacting me not only look wise but also my skin my mental health and just me as a whole and after that i've just been like obsessed with like being fit yeah that's amazing that you see the other benefits as well hmm. because i think in the long run that's what matters you oh, know for sure. in the short term short term you might have your goals you want to lose hmm. weight you want yeah. to a little bit of muscle but you know these things are um, are not as prominent but mm-hmm. these things i think uh, is what keeps you going for yeah. the longest time yeah. like yeah. how you you're sleeping better mm-hmm. you're not falling ill your hair your skin no all aches. those things yeah exactly <laughs> those things and i think that is important and that is why i think most people after a couple of years of doing so mm-hmm. um they they keep on doing it they keep yeah. on continuing it for those specific for benefits sure, for sure i mean it started off as me wanting to be fit and look good because i'm in the field where i click my own pictures as a mm. blogger content creator and i was like right. i want to look better i don't want to always edit my pictures and i have edited my pictures and i still do at times when i'm not comfortable you know but um the whole point was like to be comfortable in your own skin and just and it started off as that but then when i saw like i just realized that i have not had a backache issue for a while mm. and it's you know and i'm it's this is just doing basic exercise normal workout some physical activity has helped that and that's when i was like mm i am going to stick to this and this is like a holistic improvement i mean as a whole more than holistic but and then there's no going back you might once you see the results then you're like yeah. you know and once you stay fit i guess you can maintain it mm-hmm. you know it's you may, much easier yeah, yeah you may cheat like there are times where 10 15 days i'm on a holiday i'm eating and not working out and i come back and one day of working out and i'm nearly nearly back to my routine yeah pretty much for me it's it's basically two two most important things hmm. the first thing is like not falling ill uh, yeah before covid i i i got the covid right but before that it had been like 5 6 years since i've been ill last time yeah so it was only because i was like working out and then eating right mm-hmm. and the other thing is it teaches you discipline i think that's yeah. the most important thing you know and um i think um when you're doing something regularly whether you like it or not because there are days you don't want to you know work out or you don't want to eat healthy mm-hmm. but you do it anyways because that's how it's supposed to be mm-hmm. in your head right yeah and um it actually it actually keeps you you know um because you need to learn discipline as well it's a exactly. skill so so that's something you are doing unknowingly oh. but it passes on to other aspects of your life true, as well true true and it's discipline by the end of it you know as a whole because i i just realized like you know there are times where i just think like i'm not not like bread and i'm not mm. not like some things but mm. making that conscious decision for a few months or years after that you get used to it yes, it's exactly. not that i will crave exactly. bread i'll say if i'm hungry i'll eat something healthier and fill myself and then decide if i still want to have bread mm. so discipline is key Mm-hmm. and that's yeah yeah and getting used to it as well like you said because most people they would try something for maybe a week a month and then the diet yeah. is really hard going yeah. to the gym is really hard oh. but uh, if you push it long enough hmm. it becomes second nature where you don't have any resistance against it oh. and that's the beauty of it yeah. Well, yeah how long has it been since you started working out so i would say 2019 is when i started like i was like i've always been like slim skinny mm-hmm. towards the skinny side but where my abs my brother mm-hmm. had brothers <laughs> had abs they used this they used to play sports i was like where my abs i want to test myself do i have abs also <laughs> does my body not have it because even at my skinniest as a teenager i'm like i've never got abs mm-hmm. my brothers have it so i was like i need to test that so then i started off with that and you know as a result everything started getting looking better my shoulders everything and i was like this looks really cool and i'm going to like stick on to this so you started from your home or the the thing that you were currently doing so i started off uh, f- from i started off with group classes hit uh-huh, at uh-huh. this uh, club i was a member at in bombay 
and uh, I saw results instantly and then after that I mean there were times I used to go to the gym before but I was quite clueless and always a bit shy right uh am i doing it correctly i used mm. to feel shy to ask trainers which yeah. is a bad thing so there i used to only do the treadmills and a little bit but when i started working out and seeing results after that um i still work out from home home because i'm a little conscious and not too confident yet i feel like i will be confident if once i can keep money aside for a trainer and he teaches me everything and maybe mm. one two months once he teaches me then i'll be more confident yeah. without a trainer yeah i think that is the earliest resistance for a lot of people oh, um, it you is. know mm. like because they feel like people are judging mm. them mm. and then you know mm. and you see a lot of fit people who have been already been doing it for years at mm. the gym and that's kind of intimidating to some extent it, it was yeah. kind of like the similar thing for me because when i started back in 2009 i guess mm. Oh, the gyms were full of bodybuilders you know huge muscle yeah. men and women and then yeah. i i used to be 47 kilos mm. and for me i was like very insecure going to into the gym mm. and um it took me a while before i decided no i'm going to go so it was kind of like a new year's resolution for me mm. and then which it kind of yeah it it kind of worked out <laughs> yeah and um now i come to think of it you know whenever um there's a newbie coming into the gym we mm. actually don't really notice them hmm. you know um, but when you are on the other side the flip side you hmm. kind of feel like everybody is looking at me am i doing this right yeah. am i am i making some mistake but that's you just relief. have to get going yeah yeah you just you have to push yourself yeah i think that's something i struggle with and i found ways uh-huh. to be fit with out like that those insecurities or those things but i i need to fight it